And we are up here at Lake Alpine, where this is a great place to go cycling. Uh, they have some really nice paved single track trails on um, about half of the lake and then some mountain bike trails which we will get to in a little bit. But here we are starting up here at Lake Alpine and just looking around here. Here we go. And we're meeting some people here now. doing this ride in late August so they they needed to do some repairs on the dam for winters they actually dropped the water level a little bit early this year but this is a great high mountain lake great fishing good camping perfect for a weekend thing about this ride is it's fairly level so riders from all age groups and ability levels should have no trouble going around Lake Alpine. The boat launch area and on our right is the Lake Alpine Lodge good food, lodging, the trail picks up again. Now as you travel east to west along the north shore of Lake Alpine, you'll end up down by the Mar Marmot Amphitheater where they have some great shows and that is the day use portion, the picnic area, some great spots of the park. And then to go on around the lake, you pick up a nice little little dirt road which will go on in a couple minutes and head around the lake. We are now this trail will take you down to Bear Valley which is about three miles and this one continues on around the lake past the spillway area where we'll pick up the trail on the south side of the lake. Okay, as you continue down that road, you come to a gate here. This is a Slick Rock Trail. You'll see Immigrant Trail it takes off that way. And the way we're taking Slick Rock takes off this way. So I just opened and closed the gate there. And this is technically on SPI land, um, not Forest Service. But uh, this is the road that goes around the lake. This is still very pleasant, easy riding. It turns into a little more of a four-wheel drive trail. After a couple hundred yards on the more cobble four-wheel drive-ish section of the trail, we get down here to the sign that says Lakeshore Trail. And here we go, back down the south side of, uh, south side of the lake. I dismount some because some sections of this trail are pretty cobbly or practice your trials riding.
but for pure elevation changes it's still pretty mild so people with most fitness levels including old fat slobs like myself should be able to handle it fairly well and after a beautiful little stretch of trail we get ready to cross the little creek here which is down out of the spillway at the bottom of Lake Alpine and officially hit around the backside. Now, you're not going to be able to ride across these, but I guess some of the guys that are really good at hopping along could. But for this old guy, we're just going to carry our bike across these rocks here and head on up the other side. On the south shore, see a nice Hobie cat catching some really good speed along there. Very beautiful. And most of the trail from here on out has views of the lake. Here, it's smoothed out from some of the rocky sections down at the down by the spillway inside. You end up some very nice wooded single track trails. Lake on your left hand side, depending on which way you go around the lake. It makes for a very nice ride. In most of this, I'm riding shooting one-handed, so helmet cam would make things a little easier trying to negotiate, but it's all I had on this trip, so that's how we shot it. This is a great ride. Flat, it's just rolling. Nice trails. You can go as fast or as slow based on how your fitness level allows. And really a lot of fun. Very nice ride. As you can see, we're getting closer to the end of the east end of Lake Alpine. Very nice trails. Cruising along. And here we are. Coming back to where we started. Back on the nice little paved trail. And right back to the very nice little bridge where we started off. Thanks for taking the ride with us.